everyone, welcome to another Grant Me video. Today we're going to be talking about how to get into Western Engineering. So if you're interested in applying to Western Engineering, make sure you stay tuned to this video. We're going to talk about all about the academic and opportunities that this program offers. We're going to talk about how to get in and also about the student life and financial aid that it has to offer. So the first thing I want to talk about is the academic and career opportunities that Western Engineering has just to see and pique your interest if this is a program that you want to pursue or if it's something that you're interested in. So starting off with career opportunities, Western Engineering has a year-long co-op program and also a summer co-op program. They have this program where they help you with networking, resumes, and also has a portal that connects you directly to employers to find um, co-op opportunities for you. And yes, these co-op placements are paid. So if you're doing any type of chemical ranging engineering, your uh, average salary for these co-ops are $56,000. If you're doing anything civil related, it's around $43,000. And for computer and software, it's around $48,000. And then for electrical, it's around $55,000. And for mechanical or anything like that, it's around $48,000 as well. So definitely it's a great way to help you get paid to uh, either fund your tuition or just have an extra little bit of money um, for your summer or for your year that you can spend on. Let's talk about exchange. So Western Engineering does have an exchange program. So they have a hundred different institutions across 35 different countries in the world where they're partnered and you can do an exchange at these institutions and countries. So um, in order to apply for exchange, the minimum requirement is to have a 70% in academic standing. So as long as your average is around 70% or a little bit higher, you're good to go, you can apply. And then you would obviously um, apply through the Western Engineer, uh, Engineering Exchange Program, and this is just done through an online application on a portal. The great thing about Western Exchange is that you actually pay regular tuition fees for Western and not the international fees for the schools that you want to apply to. So this makes it a really great affordable experience and I definitely recommend you going on an exchange. In terms of the engineering course load, um, there are a ton of courses that you need to take in first year and every single engineer takes the same course load um, and then you specialize later in your second year depending on what you want to specialize in. So. First of all, you need to take Linear Al, you need to take Calc 1, Calc 2, you need to take Business for Engineers. This is a case study class where you talk about um, business applications and you learn a little bit about business but in an engineering perspective. In addition to this, you take Chemistry, Materials, uh, Engineering Statics, uh, Programming, and then you take Foundations for Engineering Practice, and then you have 2 Physics 1 and then Physics 2. So definitely a very heavy course load. Uh, make sure you guys are ready and kind of know what you're up against before you kind of pursue and commit to engineering. It is a heavy course load. You will have to study very hard, um, but I definitely think it's a really rewarding experience and a ton of these courses are super interesting and taught by a lot of great professors. Now onto the part that you've all been waiting for, how to get into Western engineering and any tips and advice that I can offer. So first of all, the requirements for applying to Western Engineering, you have to take um, a bunch of six grade 12 courses that you're going to use towards your admission average. So first is talking with English 12, um, Chemistry 12, Physics 12, Advanced Functions 12, and Calculus and Vectors. And the last one is just uh, elective at the either 4U or 4M level, so totaling of six courses. Um, and then obviously if you're not from Ontario, you would take the equivalent of these courses. So if you're from British Columbia, you would take Pre-Calculus 12 and Calculus instead of Advanced Functions and Calculus. And then, uh, yeah. One more thing I wanted to note is that, yes, there is no supplemental application for engineering itself, but there are two optional supplement uh, to applications you might as well just maybe try or look out if you're interested. The first one is a direct pre-admission to biomed engineering. Um, this will be done through the Connect profile when you apply. And the second is a dual degree with the Western um, Ivy School of Business. So you do um, get a degree in engineering and business in five years. So I definitely think it's super worth it. If you're interested in engineering and business, I definitely recommend you applying and checking it out. Since for most of the engineering fields that you're applying to, they don't have a supplemental application, so it purely kind of looks at your grades. So I definitely think that grades hold a very, very high weight on your application, and I recommend you holding that as high as possible and trying to increase that 
as best as possible. So just a little rough round estimate about what those admission averages are. So 88% is the um, admission average, so I definitely recommend you pushing the above 90 plus just to get that little bit of safety margin so you guys can get an increased chance of getting in. Um, and then the acceptance rate for Western Engineering is 58%. All right, so now if you decided that Western Engineering is the right program for you and you know how to kind of like get into Western Engineering and the pre-requirements, let's talk about the student life to see if this is a good cultural fit for you as a student. So starting off with residences, they have three styles, which is traditional, hybrid, and suite. And it's quite a bit intuitive in the name. The traditional is just the ones that you see in the movies. Hybrid is a little bit different where you don't share washrooms with your whole floor. You share it within your own kind of four um, people. And it's a little balance between suite and traditional. And suite is kind of like an apartment um, style and you just have it very private and it's a lot more quiet. You don't get the normal dorm experience, but definitely if you're leaning towards privacy, um, I'd recommend this. And the one last thing is that if you're looking for a specific residence with a lot of engineers and floor based um, kind of like faculties, the residence for you would be called Essex. In terms of meal plan, meal plans come mandatory with almost every single residence and it's around $6,000 and there are flex dollars included in this plan so you can use it on all on campus dining such as Tim Hortons, Subway and any kind of restaurants that are kind of like on campus. And in terms of social life, Western is definitely kind of ranked one of the highest in terms of social life. Um, there are a ton of super uh, nice events and uh, definitely the orientation week I experienced it myself was de definitely one of the highlights of my entire um, school year so far. So I definitely recommend you going to Western if you're really excited and you want to meet a lot new, of new people and I definitely made a ton of new friends. So I definitely recommend and would place Western social life very, very high in terms of Canadian universities. All right, I want to talk about three very good libraries um, on Western and kind of like good study spots. So the biggest kind of main library is called Weldon. Um, this is a great library if it's um, you just want to study, get some stuff done. It's in the center of campus kind of, and it's near a lot of your classes. So a lot of students kind of go there after class to get some studying done. You can book rooms. There's a writing support center. Um, but I would say that this is kind of like a very basic um, kind of go-to library. The next one is the Taylor Library. This one's a little bit further away from campus, um, but it's definitely quieter and you can get a lot of studying done there. But the one library I would highly recommend, <clears throat> it's called the C. Bud Johnson Business Library. This is inside the Ivy Building. And if you don't know, the Ivy Building is extremely renovated. It's super new and love this library so much. It's super quiet and has this modern but old feel and just makes me very productive. And the last thing actually I just remembered um, would actually be studying at the engineering build thing called ASEB. Um, if you want to meet a lot of your friends and a lot of engineers who want to ask them for help for homework, definitely go there. You can definitely ask for a lot of help. Um, there are TAs there, there are other upper years there that are just willing to help. That's a great place to study as well. Now onto the club scene. So I really love Western's club scene just because of how much of an impact they can have on your social life, the friends you make, and even the careers that you have in the future. So they have a huge club scene for anything from career related things to hobbies to cultural clubs. Um, and a club is a great way to kind of like practically demonstrate your engineering skills um, away from the theory that you learn from in school. And the one club I would recommend is Formula Engineering. This is a super cool club where they build, engineer, and design an entire electric car and they race it around the country or even sometimes around the world. Um, and this club is great because one, you get like hands-on experience and you have a lot of connections towards a lot of great employers like Tesla. Um, and a lot of club executives end up working for these amazing uh, employers in the future and have a lot of great connections. I definitely recommend it. It's super fun. Sometimes they even let you drive, uh, have test events where you can just drive the race car around. Um, so definitely recommend checking that out. Now onto the last part I want to talk about today, which is funding. How much does kind of Western engineering cost? So for tuition, it costs for domestic students. First of all, it costs around fourteen thousand dollars, and for international students, it ranges from fifty-six thousand to forty-eight thousand. So the first year is fifty-six thousand, and then it drops a little bit by each year, and then in the last year, it's forty-eight thousand dollars. All right, let's talk about scholarships. So definitely, university is a very expensive investment. And there are some scholarships that Western offers that can kind of cut the cost down or meet you in the middle. 
So the first thing is the automatic entrance scholarships. So the first one is a top high school admission average. So the top 250 people applying to Western, they get $8,000. And then the president scholarship, which is $3,500. And then have a merit scholarship, which is uh, $2,500. And then also have a Western national scholarship, uh, which is $50,000 to $70,000. And these are 20 offered and you have to write an uh, application process on this one. The last thing I want to talk about is financial aid. So Western has a bursary which it, uh, applies to every single year during your undergrad and you can apply to this to, uh, and fill out some basic financial information from your family and then they might be able to offer you a little bit of bursary. So eligible students must be a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident. Um, they have to be registered at the main campus um, in a full or part-time program and demonstrate a genuine financial need. And this could range from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars of financial bursary. That wraps up this video. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about the program itself, the academic, the career opportunities, how to get in, the student life, and to see if it's a cultural fit for you, and also a few tips on how to get some funding for to fund your education. If you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and check out our free three minute quiz down in the description below to see if you're eligible for any support of GrantMe services in either scholarships or admissions. Good luck on your applications and I hope to see you guys in another video. Take care.